Plantago ovata, the plantain, that's in flower and seed. Some of them still have a few flowers left. These seeds, you can pull them off the stem real easily. And um, if you boil these, it'll make a gel, like a very slimy mucilaginous gel that swells up in your intestines and it, it makes your bowels moister. So people who tend towards hard bowels, like they, mm, they got to force hard bowels, you just boil up some of these seeds <clears throat> and drink it back, filtered of course. You, you can even put them into food. You know, people put uh, flax seeds into their food and it'll do the same thing. It'll form a gel in your, in your body or if you cook it, and then that will bring moisture to your entire digestive tract. So if you have inflammatory conditions, <clears throat> it will also soothe them by putting a layer of mucid, mucilage. The name for the mucilage that comes from these plants is um, co chemically called a mucopolysaccharide. So polysaccharide means many sugar, but mucopolysaccharide is because it's similar to the mucus which is the wet, the wet stuff that covers all the tissue from your mouth to your rectum. All that wet tissue, is, is that's called a mucous membrane, and that mucus is swimming with um, globulins, cells, bacteria. It's a living system of its own. It's a whole ecosystem of its own. And when it gets dry, dried off or irritated, you, the tissue underneath can be exposed, and that's how some people get uh, from a bacterial infection they get like stomach ulcers. So drinking things high in mucopolysaccharides replenishes the layer of mucus throughout your body with that for so many hours. So you need to drink, you know, three times a day, uh, a cup of that. The leaves of plantain are very high in astringent compounds, which means it, it it's, you know, like uh, an egg, egg yolk is egg white, <clears throat> is slimy until you heat it. And then through the a process, the like the sulfur bonds form and it becomes a solid structure. Or if you're taking leather and you're tanning it, you use tannins, which are the compounds from the plants, to make the protein molecules fold in on themselves and lock up. So if you take something like plantain, which has drawing and astringent properties, you can put it over cuts or bug bites and draw out the venom of, you know, mosquito bites, spider bites. I don't think it's strong enough for a snake bite, <clears throat> but it'll draw the venom out of a local irritation and close the skin over it. Okay.